So Simon and I have been talking for the last few months and we decided to do these eight races over five months. Eight of the toughest endurance races in the world. Do whatever you can off the toughest things we can find. It's do or die. So this is our playground for the next year. We've got eight races to do, a thousand kilometers of racing. Start number one, Iceland. 250k ultra. Running from the biggest glacier in Iceland all the way north to the ocean. We decided to pick Iceland as our first race because 250K through just rugged, untouched landscape like that really seemed like it'd be a cool place to run. This is the first year that they're running this race in Iceland, so you don't know what to expect. Doing the seven day stage race, carrying all your gear, this is setting the bar pretty high for what's to come. Turbo's at the perfect spot in his life to take on this challenge. His kids are old enough, his wife's busy with her job. And Turbo just seems to be that kind of guy that's got that level-headedness, that stick it to itness of what it's gonna take to do something like this. My wife and family are totally behind what I do. I married the girl of my dreams and she was my soulmate. I just knew it. I think he's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I'm 46 and who knows what's gonna happen to me in the next few years. I don't know if I'm going to succeed or fail, but I know I'm going to learn a lot about myself along the way. Ultra marathons are interesting because the pain is intense and the suffering is intense, but at the same time through that you learn so much about yourself. Simon, of course, is that he's a very good athlete. He's going to use his physical capacity. He's a really hard worker, but I think it's caught up to him now because this is the time he's got to step back and figure out what's really valuable for him. At this point in my life, it's something that I really feel that I need because I take on this personal challenge and it doesn't matter to anybody else. It only matters to me. I'm not afraid to push myself right to the limit. I'm at the front of the pack. I just love the fucking run, man. I just love it. Just take it by the balls, man. It's gonna be hell on the body, but I'm looking forward to it. The greatest hazards for these guys in Iceland are gonna be managing their clothing. Body uses a tremendous amount of calories when it's trying to stay warm. There's a misconception that you're not gonna get dehydrated in the cold. You can get just as dehydrated in the cold as you can in the heat. Seven. Three, two, one.